This is Eugene Hanrick Rich on the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we're going to talk about how to ship your laptop to us for repair. So first we're going to talk about the different types of boxes you can use, and then we'll talk about how to package it in that box. Let's get started. Uh, if you have about 40 to $50, the best thing to do will be to take it to a UPS store or FedEx store or shipping and packaging store and just have them do it for you. So you can stop the video right there and just have them do it for you. If you want to spend a bit less money than that, anywhere from about $13 to about $25, you can do it yourself and it's not too hard. Okay, uh, the absolute best way to ship a laptop to us is to use the original box that you bought the laptop in, that it came in, and just to package it in that laptop box, because it already has all the packaging material, and it's pretty sturdy, and just send it to us. You can either use parcel post, priority mail, or uh, FedEx, depending on how much you want to pay. Just make sure you have delivery confirmation and keep the delivery confirmation number. So that's the best option. If you do not have the original laptop box, the, another option would be to find out some other laptop box from a different laptop and see if it fits. If that fits, great, just use it. If you do not have that, you can use one of the boxes that the shipping carriers provide, either a post office or FedEx. If your laptop is smaller, say less than 14 inches, the best option would be to use a medium flat rate box. You ask for a medium flat rate box, or if they want the part number, or model number, or whatever, it's FRV2. So medium flat rate box, or FRV2 and you ship your small laptop to us and it'll cost you about $11 or something with delivery confirmation. If your laptop doesn't fit in the medium flat rate box and you want to use the post office, use their mailing box. And this particular one that will fit most laptops is 1095. This will not fit 17 inch laptops, but it will fit most laptops smaller than that. So uh, it's called 1095, and if you ship it priority mail to Tucson, most likely it'll cost you about $25 to use the priority mail. Now, if you like FedEx or have a 17-inch laptop, a good option is to use the FedEx large box. Just about any FedEx store has them or um, any packaging and shipping store will give it to you for free. Just ask for FedEx large box and now fit a 17 inch laptop in there. It's a large box. Uh, this for an eight pound shipment this will cost you about twenty five to thirty dollars for if you use the FedEx Express Saver. If you get to the two day overnight it gets expensive real quickly it'll cost you fifty or sixty dollars. So just use the FedEx Express Saver. It'll be twenty five to thirty bucks and it'll get here in about two to three days. Okay, if you want to spend less than $20, what you need to do is go to a packaging and shipping store and get a box that's about this dimension, 18 by 12 by 4 or somewhere. So just buy a box, don't ship it with them. Just buy a box and just package it yourself and then take it to the post office and use parcel post and make sure you get delivery confirmation and keep the delivery confirmation number. And for an eight pound box, it'll cost you about 10 to $12, maybe even less. So about two to $3 for the box and 10 to $12 for shipping it. So it'll be about $15. Okay, let's talk about how to package a laptop once you have the box. So unless you have the original laptop box which has its own packaging material, this applies to all the other boxes that we talked about. You need two things to package it. You need some sort of wrapping material to wrap the laptop with. Uh, best thing is to use some bubble wrap. If you don't have bubble wrap, you can use paper towels and just use up the whole roll of paper towels. The whole roll is about the buck, 50 cents, not too bad, and just wrap it up really well. Once you have the wrapping material and wrapped it up, 
And once you put the last box in the box, it doesn't matter which box, there'll still be some space around the box and the rack laptop, and you need some sort of filling material. And what the best option is, just about everyone has these, is the plastic grocery shopping box bags, and usually people have a lot. Just take all of your plastic bags and just go around the laptop and fill up the space so the laptop doesn't bump around when it's shipping. If you're in California, which some places I believe they don't have these anymore, you can just use crumple paper just to achieve the same thing. Just take out some used paper or new paper, recycled paper, crumple it up and just go around. Just get a whole bunch of crumple paper and go around so the laptop doesn't move around when it ships. Okay, so now we know how to package it and ship it. Uh, some One thing that I don't like is styrofoam peanuts for two reasons. Um, reason one, it's not good for the environment. They never degrade in the landfill. And reason two, these tiny little bits of the styrofoam get into the laptop and can be a mess sometimes. And the other thing, if you don't get anything else out of this video, is make sure you have the tracking number so that if the laptop is in transit, you know where it is and you can prove that we have received it. Okay, uh, that's it. So you can ship a laptop from anywhere between $15 and $45. And thank you, and we look forward to seeing your laptop and taking care of it. Thank you, and have a good day.